all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. On today's episode of Jedi TV, we're going to introduce you to Bell Manor. Come on in. We thought we'd give you a little tour to see what's been going on in the last couple of weeks. Uh, we, amidst all of this fun coronavirus stuff, we got to move from Southern Oregon to Bonnie Lake area of Washington. And this is our cool house, so come on. One of the uh, cool things about this feed, this house is what's behind this door right here. We're calling this space Narnia, and you can get a little peek, but we're gonna show you a little more on another episode. But if you happen to look up, there's a secret room. That's gonna be a fun space, so you'll wanna check it out. We also have, for the very first time, our own fancy coat closet. <laughs> and welcome to our living room space where we're just starting to get things put together we've got everything unboxed but as you can see there's you know pictures that need to be put up on the wall and different projects that we need to get taken care of but we're getting there and that goes into our dining space so as you can see we have, this is the table from our original house. We have never been able to have it in a room and actually have all the leaves in it. So this has been pretty cool. Uh, we like to have dinner in here just so we can yell at each other across the uh, table. How's the soup? Excuse me? The soup. Oh. How is it? Oh, it's, it's great. Could you pass the salt? Sure. One of Kuki's favorite places right here is the solarium. We didn't even know what that word meant until we looked at this house and they told us it had one. But we're turning this into Kuki's salon. So you can see here we've got a chair for her and we've got a vanity. So if you happen to be in the neighborhood, you could get some services from Kuki herself. Uh, little point of interest here. This happens to be Jed's desk from when he was a kid, if you can believe it. Um, we got this out of his storage unit his mom had, and we absolutely had to put it in the house. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then we'll uh, stop by the very first bathroom. You'll see that this place needs a little bit of work. Um, we actually put together a housewarming list if you're interested on Amazon. Some of the things that we need for this bathroom are on that list, so you should go check it out. But you'll have to come in and see the fantastic red countertop and the very, very 90s light fixtures. But nice uh, bathroom, good shower, and it's uh, conveniently located for the spa. Now, one of the cool things about this place, we had outdoor sheds at our last place, and now I don't have to go outside to get any of my stuff. We actually have a basement. Cookie helped me reorganize this just the other day. But now all of our extra stuff fits down here, from our holiday things to our uh, costume collection is going to be going up against that wall. We got to put in rods and hang up all the costumes. That's what you can see in these boxes right here. These are all costumes waiting to come out. Uh, we've also got our DVD collection over here because we just can't part with a collection like that. All my Disney DVDs, Disney VHS even. I even have a VHS player. so. That's pretty cool. We'll go ahead and come out here. And so that's kind of what we call the east wing of the house. So our house, our previous house, was a little over 1,300 square feet officially. This place is almost 4,000, including the basement. So we've got a lot more room to spread out and do a lot more things. Jed's got a lot more places to film. Uh, we have a lot more room to have people over. We're excited about that, so hopefully we'll have some good parties here. Um, the next spot we're going to check out is, again, something we've never had before. 
a walk-in pantry. Kuka graciously helped set up all the shelves and get everything organized when uh, she was up here this past week helping us out. And then the absolute peace de resistance of this space that we absolutely fell in love with when we first saw it is the kitchen. And you won't find a space as cool as this, in my opinion. It is huge. We can put every appliance out on the counter. We have cupboards for everything. And the best part is it looks out to our acre backyard, which is just absolutely beautiful with the wall of windows here. Uh, there are some projects we want to do here, like replace the faucets. Again, some of those items are on that uh, housewarming list. Uh, this faucet, our vegetable sink, which we've never had before. While it's fantastic, the water barely makes it into the sink, so we need to get that fixed. And as you can see, um, I think you saw this on a previous episode of Jedi TV, but it looks like they used some chewing gum to fix it. So we definitely need to get that replaced. So... But otherwise, very, very cool space. We have our desk over here, which is kind of where we're setting up our, we've got project things going on. Uh, you might notice there's a ton of light fixtures in this place, so we have a lot of light bulbs. We have to play, replace all the door handles. And we've got projects going over here, so you'll see little things all over the place, but we're getting it done. And then this is what we call the West Wing. Now the cool thing about the West Wing is it's completely closable to the rest of the house. So this is kind of our private area of the house. When we have folks over, we can close this off and nobody has to come over here, but you get the opportunity to see it. So let's check it out. So in here, we're gonna go into the workout space. Another thing that we were absolutely needing was a place where we could work out and work out with a ton of space. And I don't know if you can tell, but this place has a lot of ceiling space and some magnificent beams. Plus again, you've got a great view of the backyard through the big windows. And we have plenty of room to put out all of our gym equipment. Now we do, we want to put in some full length mirrors in here for working out. We also need to get a TV in here because we do a lot of the video workouts. Uh, so those are a couple more projects that we need to get done, but come in together nicely. We got a pellet stove. We're still trying to figure out how that thing works. Uh, we're going to come on that. We have three bedrooms, uh, two downstairs, and then the master suite upstairs. This is our guest bedroom. So you can see uh, the sleeping bags were out because Kook and Josh were staying in this room uh, while they were here. Uh, we got a door to fix, um, but we got some furniture to get in here, which we don't have yet. Uh, queen size bed, poor Josh and Kook spent the entire week on an air mattress, but they were troopers, they didn't complain. A nice size little room here. And then next door, we've got Logan. Let's see if uh, Logan's available. Can we come in? Yeah. All right. So this is Logan's space. Oh, hello. This is my room. I haven't really set much up yet. I have the closet set up and the Nerf wall set up. I still need more shelves here. Need my desk. But this is what I have so far. And then have you shown them the Narnia yet? We just mentioned it. Well, if you want to see me decorate that room, you can follow my TikTok, which I'm sure Jedi will put right, right around here. Yep, we just need to get Logan a desk and uh... Upgrade his monitor so that he can mm. play his PC games. Thanks, Logan. Yep. 
Uh, we also have a bathroom over here on the west wing. This is kind of Logan's bathroom, and then he shares it with whomever is here. But we've got two sinks going on in here. There's some work that needs to be done, some fixing of the, uh, the sinks. We've got some chips going on. And uh, he's got his own shower. Nice little setup here. <clears throat> and still haven't figured out what the light switches are. That's one thing about this house, there's a million light switches. So we have two exits to the garage, one of which is this way, but we're gonna go off the other one because we have one more place to stop, and that's the laundry room. For the first time in 20 years, we have a laundry room that isn't part of our bathroom, which everybody was really excited about until they realized no more toasty towels because the dryer wasn't right there. So they're getting used to that. I've heard a couple of complaints that they'd like some uh, towel warmers. I don't know about that, but we'll see. You know, if you're interested, Jed Logan would love a towel warmer. But this is our laundry room. As you can see, we have both our washer and dryer. We have a utility sink and a nice counter space, plus another toilet. So we have four toilets, four toilets. Okay, so now that we finished the laundry room, let's go upstairs to the master suite. Another thing we really appreciated about this place was that the master suite was on its own floor. Nobody has to come up here unless we invite them up here. Even the kids aren't allowed to come up here unless we let, invite them. So we have two parts to the master suite. We have the loft part, which is over here. This is where in our old house, I had what we called the clothis because it was my closet and my office all in one. And so now pretty much the entire loft is now my clothis. I have all of my wardrobes here and my dressers here. So this is where I get to keep all of my clothes. Contrary to popular belief, Jedi is not the only one with a substantial closet. And then I also have a little meditative space that I'm working on and we've got some toys over here. But then here's my office and I get to look out to this beautiful view as I'm working from home during this pandemic. So I'm not gonna complain too much. So that's my upstairs loft area. Now we're gonna go ahead and go into the master bedroom. One of the nice things about the master bedroom is these double doors. You come through the double doors into the master bedroom where you see our bed and our uh, furniture that we're working on and Jedi's closets. Ooh. If you wanna see something picture perfect, check out Jed's closets. So he has his his long shirts over here with his pants and some of his hats. And then he's got all of the rest of his clothes over here in his walk-in with his shoes and vests and short sleeve shirts and all his suits. The one thing you may notice that's missing is where is Jed keeping all of his hats? And that's a lot of hats. So right now, his collection is sitting in boxes. But we are going, the plan is to get a, a shelf system over here that will allow him to display all of his hats uh, on this wall. So I'm sure he will show you that at a later time. But uh, definitely gonna check that out it should be pretty cool uh, if you haven't noticed Jed's already started using some of the bolts on the beams to keep his hats I'm not sure if I'm completely fond of that or not let me know what you think in the comments below about Jed's choice of hat display in the master bedroom 
The other piece that we have in here is our bathroom. So we have the his and her sink. And then inside the bathroom, we have one of the coolest things for us, a jetted tub, which we got to use for the first time yesterday, and it was amazing. Uh, we were figuring out all the controls, but it works awesome, I can tell you that. So I'm very excited about having that. We have a shower, and then we even have a separate room for the toilet. So now that we've uh, looked all downstairs and all of upstairs, let's head back downstairs where we'll hit the garage. Another thing that I want to put into place as we continue this process is replacing all the light switches with smart light switches because it takes several minutes to do a light check in this house. And so I want to just be able to say, Suri, shut off all the lights. So uh, that's another project that I want to get worked on. But until then, we'll walk around the house. Okay, so a project we just had to do this week, we had, let's see, at one time, we had HVAC out, we had the electrical folks out, we had garage door folks out, the exterminator out. Uh, it was very busy this week, but uh, Absolute Garage Door came to fix some of our garage doors. Uh, the garage door for my car didn't work at all. It was completely busted. So they came in and put in a lift master that's Wi-Fi enabled. So I'm super excited that I can control it with my phone. And we're going to go ahead and turn out this way. It is a tight squeeze, but I am not going to complain because it's the first time my car has ever been under cover in my life. So I'm, I'm good with that. As I mentioned, we had HVAC out. We have been running on auxiliary heat for the last week because we have a fantastic heat pump over here that doesn't work at all. And uh, thanks to Teresa and Chad Golizar, our uh, real estate agents, they got us as a housewarming present, a home warranty. So thank goodness the repairs on that unit, which are going to cost thousands of dollars, are all being covered by insurance. So we're very happy about that. So now let's head back to the backyard. So this property is completely gated uh, and fenced. So we have plenty of privacy and it's super peaceful out here. Aside from some road, road noise, uh, we certainly can't complain. It's been pretty awesome. So as you can see, we quite a park-like setting. And I'm sure you had to have seen the shop at one point. This is going to be Jed's baby. And you'll get to see more of that later because he has got a lot of things in store for this shop. And I expect it'll be on several episodes. So we'll take a little tour here. Funny thing is this is where they must have had some raised gardens. Uh, when we first looked at this house, Logan said that was where the seven dwarves were buried because they're more about seven mounds. But uh, yeah, this is all going to be re-landscaped. Uh, I'm sure Jed will probably show you if he hasn't already done so. There was a landscape map of how this house was originally designed and I'd like to restore that as much as possible and get all of the uh, landscaping back in here. And as you know, that's gonna be uh, pretty expensive. You can see we've got plenty of these uh, bushes that we're gonna to have to replace at $25 a piece. We wanna take those and then actually install them along the fence line so we can have a little more privacy from our neighbor next door. But more to come on that. Here's our patio area. Uh, want to, again, you can notice there's a grapevine up here. At one point, must have been absolutely beautiful, but it is completely dead, so I have to cut that back and replant that and get that going again. But this is going to be a great place to have some parties. Don't pay attention to Bammy, he's kind of creepy. Just saying. His legs are a little jacked up. Unfortunately, Bambi's probably going to get. Uh, one of the things that I think our grandchildren are going to appreciate is that this place has a nice little playhouse and we've already got some garden tools out there and a little red wagon for them to play with. Uh, we're excited for Klesina to come visit so she can get to play in it first. 
We have this really cool tree right next to it. It's still living, but completely hollow. I'm sure it's not healthy, but it's super cool. And we have our playhouse right here. Across from the playhouse is the fire pit, which you may have already seen on Instagram. Jed was out here roasting marshmallows. I'm sure we'll probably be doing that more frequently. Maybe have a hot dog roast or singing by the campfire. That should, that'll be fun. And then lastly, we're gonna come out here to the other end of the property where we have our garden shed. As you can see, Jed's uh, shop here is about 36 by 60. And uh, he's got lots of room to play. Another fun fact is the property located right behind us is actually owned by Public Works. So nobody's going to be building back there and you can actually get access to the Puyallup River. There's uh, tributaries that run back there. The river is actually in this direction. Another one of the projects I got done this week was cleaning this thing out. Uh, apparently it was used as a chicken coop and it had been full of chicken poo for I don't know how long. So got that cleaned out and now it's our garden shed. I know it's going to be a little dark, but uh, it is in general. We've got all of our uh, tools and such in here. We even have some bonus things they left over. Some fence, some pine shavings, and the front end of a Jeep. <laughs> if anybody needs a white Jeep front end, uh, call us. Put your comment down below. We'll see about getting it to you because we don't have one. And uh, one of the cool things that we got for this move because a push mower just wasn't going to cut it Bad Dog Matt hooked us up with a Husqvarna riding lawnmower. So thank you, Bad Dog, for taking care of that for us. We really appreciate it. I will tell you, uh, Kook, this past weekend, rode round and round and round on the riding lawnmower. I think she cut it at least three times. The grass has definitely been cut. And she said she wants to drive up weekly so that she can continue to cut the grass. Anyway, that does it for our tour of Bell Manor. Uh, leave us a comment down below of what you think. If you're interested in uh, giving us a housewarming present, there'll be a link to our Amazon wish list in the section in the description down below as well. Otherwise, uh, I'm Jessica. This is Bell Manor, and you just watch Jedi TV. We'll see you in some other place, in some other time. <laughs>